Welcome to a Cheltenham Festival preview where we're going to be looking at some of the races over the weekend. Uh, obviously, a lot to talk about. We got three days of great racing. Uh, we are live on Facebook now and we're recording for YouTube also. So, very interesting weekend ahead. I'm sure a lot of you are uh, excited. It really is one of those meetings that uh, really whets the appetite. So looking forward to it. Hope everybody else is too. See a very interesting market move in the second race for Bally Breeze. First time after a wind up. And um, yeah, very interesting. No joy today. I see someone saying bloodbath paddy for fuck's sake. Uh, don't blame your frustrating day today. We had one horse finish second. Another horse um, disappoint. Travelled really well. Fergal O'Brien's horse in the first race. But absolutely found nothing. Very disappointing there. And then Zonda took a step backwards. But uh, like I said, a really good month. Although it's been frustrating with individual selections, we're unlucky not to have two nice winners the last couple of days. Frambury left an awful lot to do in Newcastle. And the day before, Rathalit just couldn't get out. But we did have some massive, massive scores and still in a monster profit for the month with the 28 to 1 winner, 14 points win on a 3 to 1 winner. And some other good results as well with a 6 to 1 winner at the Breeders' Cup, 9 to 4, and a couple of others. Right, going on to tomorrow, we're going to have to take a look at the second race. Uh, the two mile, the old mucking, brilliant Paddy Power handicap chase, class 2, uh, not to 150. So, very interesting horse here, getting uh, very well backed, locally trained. The trainer comes from just out the road from Cheltenham. I see Calico making his return. Only a seven-year-old. He is interesting tomorrow under a big weight. Triple trade ran really well, but he does get outpaced over this trip. Do you know your job? Looked to be a fair horse at one stage. Been very disappointing since. Madara travelling okay when fell the last day. But there's another interesting horse in here at a big price. Gold Des Bias. Uh, look, he's not the biggest, he's not the scopiest, but he's ran well in this before. He's very well handicapped on some form and could run all right uh, at a big price. I see Harry Cobden taking the ride for Ian Jardine, who's had a really good year. Uh, really kind of tricky. I do have some really nice bets on the Patreon service tomorrow. I have uh, three bets for Cheltenham tomorrow. I am going to focus on a race for the the stream now. It's the last race tomorrow. I like two horses tomorrow. They're both big prices, so I'm going to give them a mention. It's in the 405. It's the Valda Energy Novices Handicap Hurdle, right? It's over two miles, half a furlong. There's a very interesting horse here. It's only a five-year-old. It's 18 to 1. Artistic Endeavour. This horse really powered home late in the day, the last day. Kind of similar to its previous run before that. Uh, both runs, but one was on soft, one was on quicker ground. So it seems to be versatile. Tim Vaughan tends to get a nice progressive horse uh, in handicaps. And this could be one. The other one is Fergal O'Brien's horse. Tin 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 or Tin -a Tin Tin, however you pronounce it. Only a four-year-old got a nice weight. Could be interesting after a wind up. So both big prices, 12 to 1 and 18 to 1. They're kind of two horses I'd take against the field. The bookie should be paying five or six places in these races. Definitely be paying five, I'd say, in this. So I wouldn't put anyone off uh, Tin a Tin Tin and Artistic Endeavour. Both horses look to have upside off their current marks and could be really interesting for sure. Um Look, novice handicap hurdles, anything can happen, as you know yourself. The first race, I did put out a selection on the service, a big price horse. I do have um, a strong bet as well. I have uh, two bets tomorrow, lads. I went for a horse 
obviously I can't talk about this race, but I'll just say I've went for a horse in the novice chase and I can't see him bet barring any mistakes. I think he'll I think he'll progress past every one of these. And I've put him up as a 14 points win bet in the novice chase tomorrow. I think I think he's a an absolute good thing. Um Do, do, do. The big die on a struggle tomorrow, lads. Look, there's no secret. Paul Nichols's horse should win it in a canter. That's that's no secret. But anyway, let's just touch on Saturday. Let's have a look. Right. Right, so on Saturday, kicks off with a really intriguing race for the juvenile hurdles. I'm really happy that we get um, Burdett Road in here. We also have um, a French runner in here, Milan Tino. Is it? No, sorry, I don't think it was a French. No, sorry, it's not. What am I on about? It's Tom George's, is it? Yeah, no, it is a French runner. Right, so I am right. Okay. Very interesting horse for sure. Burdett Road looked to be all classy the last day, but for me, I thought it was it was probably interesting to get it to Cheltenham first, see how it goes. I still have faith one well in Weatherby, so it's a real interesting race. It's not a betting race for me. It's a watch and brief race um, tomorrow. Or watch and brief race Saturday. Now, another very interesting horse for me, it's a horse I love, is man of the people on in the 110 at Cheltenham on Saturday. And I'm really looking forward to this horse running. He's very interesting. He has some really nice progressive form. He ran really well the last day in Exeter. When uh, just finding one too good. And he would have won, only he was bumped again the far rail. Just cost him a kind of a lent. And then um, was absolutely interesting you know, how close the finish was up to the line. So it could be very interesting on Saturday. I see Fergal O'Brien's daughter takes the ride, gets three pounds off, and a mark of 132 could definitely be bang there. Do big price too. Really, really interesting. Right, then on Saturday, we move on to the 145. It's a listed race. Very interesting to see we've all been caught uh, out again. He did look very one-paced in behind a very impressive um, uh, floor and porter. I thought Florin Porter that last day just his gears had him in trouble everywhere. So it'll be interesting to see maybe with a bit, a bit more settled race. But he's definitely looking like a horse that wants the extreme staying trips now. Uh, Ala Philippe, a very nice horse, but clearly has some trouble. Was well beaten by good risk at all. Mr. Coffee just can't win a race. Loves to run well in every race. But I don't know. The day he does click, he'll probably run away with a race. And uh, could be very interesting for sure. Right, moving on to the big race on Saturday. We have Sage Star heading to betting the real whacker in uh, second in in the market. Unexpected party, 6-1. to one. Il Redito, 7-1. to one. Not long till May, 7-1. to one. Easy as that is definitely an interesting horse. Uh, looks progressive. And Angel's Breast, a 10 stone 10 was a real classy novice a few years ago for Nicky Henderson. Slowly finding a bit of form. Could be well treated. Harper's Brook gets a lot of weight off the Wacker tomorrow, but the Wacker trashed him in the dipper. Another horse could be interesting. Whistle in the dark. First run of the season for Laura Morgan. Kevin Brogan on board. Won his last three or four. Could run well at a massive price. So there is some real interesting ones in it. Lads, also, I'm going to be doing the Cold Bear Sports 100 Club. I'm going to be raffling off a share in the horse every week now until Christmas. 
So I'll be doing it uh, every Saturday, starting not tomorrow, not this Saturday, starting next Saturday after. The goal is obviously to sell 30 tickets uh, a week. Even if I don't sell the 30, the, the raffle will go ahead every week. So even if I only sell seven or eight tickets, I'm still going to go ahead with it. So it'll be great value to try and win a share. Get involved. Get involved. So we'll do it. We're starting on Saturday week. And it'll be done every Saturday morning before racing on Facebook Live. So don't miss out your chance to win a share. And like I said, I've decided now I'm just going to run this to Christmas. And whoever's in, if you want to buy a share, get in touch. And whoever's in is in and whoever's not is not. So I'll be closing it off Um right for january 1st it will be closed off and it will just carry on if i've only 50 shares sold then i'll just keep the 50 percent equity in the i'll just hold the other half because i'm not going to be selling these horses every seven days a week and twice on sunday so i'll move on and uh close it off right but very interesting two nice horses mafia power Mel, lovely hurdles debut don't miss out if you want to buy in all the details are on it 1500 christopher for a one percent share in both horses but it also covers all your fees as well training fees race days jockeys traveling farriers everything everything is involved you have one percent share in both horses but you also have all your payments for till july 2025 as well so it's just a one-off payment covers you for everything do 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 they're not too confident on the whacker. He's class could prevail. Very underestimated horse. No, he's been strong in the market now, lads. Don't worry. The whacker will go off favourite in this race. Don't worry about that. I'd be shocked if he's not... Or not favourite, but I'd be shocked if he's not um, challenging on the day. There's a lot of people that follow the real whacker. Money will come from. You got a mention on up in the ante the other night. Yep. Yeah. I gave them boys an education last year. <laughs> Maybe I might get learn something from them this year. But no, look, I like watching the show. It's only banter to me. It is what it is. I love just having an opinion on horse racing. And uh, so, does the, so does the guys on the show. So it is what it is. I just, at the end of the day, Cheltenham is so fun that we're talking about it this far out. So it's crazy. It's crazy. We're talking about it like months in advance months in advance how much is the raffle so it's 50 or a ticket 30 tickets would be 1500 equals the one share plus the all-in costs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead with the raffle whether i sell if i meet the 30 or not every week to christmas so it'll be great value some weeks i might not get near it i might only sell 10 or 12 or 14 tickets so don't miss out all the details can be found on the mad murrigan facebook page if you want to buy a share get in touch but like i said i'm closing it off at christmas and whatever i've sold i have and whatever i haven't i'm going to hold them shares myself because um it's just the way we're going to be doing it right Yeah, Mahler's mission uh, is interesting in the cards. You'd be well suited to it, but uh, I don't know. I have a. I look. I won't say too much more, but I fancy a horse for that race, and it's going out Monday. It's going out Monday, and I think I've found the winner of it. Right, so interest another interesting horse lads in the three thirty on Saturday. Rep resplendent grey. Uh, I don't know why Sean Bowen's not riding this Saturday. Mm, was he? What is he somewhere else Saturday? Did I not? I know he's at Cheltenham Friday. He's definitely at Cheltenham Friday. Uh, maybe he's going to another meeting obviously he's trying to win the championship so it wouldn't be beyond the realms he'd go to a small meeting and ride four or five horses you know um but anyway Re Re resplendent gray is definitely a very interesting horse um for sure he a rock my way is in this i'm surprised he didn't go go chasing this season but 
Rapper Splendid Grey on Saturday in the 3.30. Very, very interesting. Dude. I'm heading over to Cheltenham on Sunday, Paddy. Watch your nap. Well, keep stay tuned. I'll get to Sunday. We might do that uh, tomorrow night. So I'll be doing a live stream. I'll have the declarations for Sunday then, and we might find something. But I do have a few gone out on the Patreon service already. I have a bet gone out for Sunday already. I did put out two more Cheltenham tips today. One of them is a 22 to 1 shot. Um, so don't miss out. If you want to get them... Link will be above or uh, above on Facebook, below on YouTube. They were saying the whacker doesn't stand a chance in <laughs> look. Uh, I'll not be educating anybody, but come Cheltenham, if the ground was good and the whacker was healthy, he'll give Jerry all he wants of it. Do, 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 do. Don't know when Marine National is running, to be honest, Vino. Oh, lads, a very interesting race Saturday at Navin. We have um, Vassoil Vega and In The Pocket in the same novice chase. So that'll bring a bit of fireworks to Navin as well on Saturday. Be very, very interesting. Right, lads, keep following Cold Bear Sports. I'm going to shut this down. I'll be back tomorrow night with a good live some really nice bets gone out in the Patreon service. Also, get involved in the 100 Club. Get involved in the raffle. If you want to buy in, hit me up. But we're going to be running it now till Christmas and then closing it off. I'll do the raffle every week. And like I said, if I sell five tickets or the 30, the raffle will go ahead. All right, keep following Cold Bear Sports.